How you doing guys? Today we're rolling to spring 2021 Zagreb. there you have it that is the Zagre tractor show I probably could have gotten some more video um, of the show itself but so much was going on and I, I had met ran into so many people that I was talking and mingling and things like that so I apologize uh, I the next Zagre I'll make sure I get more uh, content of the show the show was huge and that was because of the you know first show since 2019 and the weather was was really nice i mean it was breezy cold in the morning but the, as the midday came in um it turned out really nice so to the people that i met thank you very much for saying hi to me i really much appreciate that hopefully we had a good conversation and now let me just show you a couple things that i picked up um i was lucky enough not to have to buy anything and i'll explain that in a second First up, real quick, this is the seat for my mini bike. Um, my brother uh, has these seats made for wheel horse tractors. Actually, they, he, my brother's father-in-law does the uh, stitch work. He made that seat and I just had him whip up a nice little white seat for the mini bike. So the mini bike project is still moving along, but um, I think that's gonna give it a nice killer vintage feel with the, uh, the white motor and the white seat on the on the pseudo chrome frame it should look pretty sharp so that's the first thing um, it was it was kind of a no charge thing but I, I do owe my brother's 
father-in-law something for it we'll, we'll work it out but that was the first thing the second thing is this little garden trailer and what this is is this is a first generation rj uh, wheel horse rj uh, garden trailer and it's made out of sheet metal it does have a dump back the wheels are incorrect for this this is supposed to have a set of wheels that look somewhat like this but they're supposed to have i guess they're supposed to have a bigger weight hole like a real big one um, i don't know too much about that specifically i'll have to figure it out but essentially it's in pretty nice original you know patina shape the uh the rub rail here is a little dinged up um you know there's a crash right there and there's a little bit of separation on the on the bottom portion of the of the tub but this was the first generation this was like 1955 because the next version which i think was like late 56 57 was essentially the same but instead of the floor being straight it was angled like it went up like a dump cart and it didn't have a tailgate and i'll show you that in the center in a second but and then they went eventually they went to the tub cart you know that looks like an actual bathtub with a with a slanted back so this was the first gen as i call it uh, trailer pretty neat looking little unit um actually theoretically what's supposed to happen here i guess and i don't and i'm talking speculation here because I, I don't know all the specifics of this particular implement but supposedly you were supposed to be able to flip this the 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 bed would dump and then these chains that are on both sides they would pull this lever off and pull this lever off at the same time theoretically and then as you dumped the bucket or dumped the box this tailgate would uh, that tailgate would open up and then whatever was in it would come out um, and as I said the next generation of this trailer had, was essentially the same as except the floor like right about here kicked up so that way it was easier to dump and it didn't have the tailgate portion so this was a pretty cool and I really thank the uh, the individual that traded me for this essentially the individual that owns the steering wheel that I'm redoing uh, for them as well as having one of his puller tractors headers coated ceramic coated by my friend um, he traded me those two things for this particular trailer and i'm really grateful because i was thinking about selling my rj35 but now that i got this trailer i can't sell it because i got to have the rj35 with the matching trailer right i mean what else could a wheel horse guy want but when it comes to the wheels i am going to swap these wheels out to a wheel that's not original but i think will uh, create some interesting conversation let me go get it and those rims are the ones i'm planning on putting on this trailer and what they are are rj35 front rims yeah i've had these for a number of years and they are like super super minty and probably this trailer is probably not deserving of them but I am going to put a set of repro tires on there and I am ultimately going to put these rims on this trailer because I think it's going to look really cool with a set of RJ35 rims on a trailer. So what makes them RJ35 rims? Number one is there's actually negative spacing on the bearings. So in other words, the, the wheel runs right in the center of the hub. And that's because wheel horse pulled these right from wheel uh from wheelbarrows and they just bought brand new wheelbarrow wheels uh, the other thing that makes them kind of interesting is the grease fittings are in i won't say in the center but they're like in the fascia of the rim itself now typically on an rj35 these rims would be facing the other direction in other words the valve stems go in uh, but on the trailer i'm going to just mount them in this fashion i do have to make a little bit of a spacer in the back just to keep the rim uh you know justified correctly on the cotter pin but i make those spacers within two and a half seconds so i'm not really <laughs> i'm not too worried about it so overall i'm going to keep these rims so if something should ever happen and i need to just put this trailer on diff, put take these 
uh, RJ35 rims off and get the trailer back on some tires. I'm just going to keep those for for stock. But as of right now, that's my plan is to put the RJ35 front rims on it. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to straighten out the rub rail on this side at least. The other side is really not bad at all. There's a little dink right there. But I'm going to go ahead and probably straighten that out. I'm going to try to get the dump feature to work. The other thing I want to try to do is um, looks like the uh, actual hitch piece is a little bit bent. So I'm going to see what is going to be entailed to maybe straightening that out. I'm not going to say that with 100% certainty that I'm going to do. Um, the rest of it, man, it's, it's pretty dent free on the bed, which is really weird. Uh, you know, even when you rub the hand, your hand over it, it's a little, there's like a dent right in this area, but it's so minuscule, I'm not even going to bother. The other thing I'm going to try to fix too is this. Um, there is a little bit of separation here from the sheet steel to the band iron, and that's because some dirt and water got in there over the years and um, pushed it out when it froze, because this is in, you know, mint shape. So I'm just going to clean that all out, and I'm just going to straighten that out. So that's the plan. Um... Not going to be a huge project, not going to dive into it right now, but I'm really, really appreciative of this trailer. This is a nice little addition to my uh, to my uh, collection as the ice cream man comes by. I'm surprised they still do that nowadays. Not because of COVID, just in general. <laughs> it's kind of weird. But anyways, I just wanted to show you a couple of the acquisitions. Now, as always, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for subscribing please like and comment uh, below uh, that you know if you if you like the video i really do appreciate that and as always till the next video have a great day